So what does a week as a biochemist actually look like? Is it just long hours in the lab? Do you get a work-life balance and a chance to pursue other things you love? Hi guys and welcome to my week as a biochemist. It's Monday morning and I'm starting the week with making buffers. This buffer is for the protein purification process which will be happening tomorrow and within the buffer it's the imidazole which helps with eluting bound proteins. Are you filming? Oh yeah. Oh my god, no again, filming. Here I'm making degas water, which basically means filtering and removing as many dissolved air bubbles as possible from the bottle of water so it's ready for the protein purification setup. After that, I went downstairs to collect my autoclaved media in preparation for E. coli culture grow-ups. I'm then back in the office to reply some emails and I'm done for today. So today I'm starting pretty early because it's the day of protein purification. It's usually a long day because it involves many steps and use of equipment. Here I am resuspending my E. coli pellet, which is basically a frozen pellet of E. coli cells with my target protein expressed. I need the sample to be fully homogenized and it does take quite a while. The sample is then put through the cell disruptor so that the E. coli cells can be broken up and I can then obtain my target proteins. Here my E. coli cells have been broken up and to collect the cell debris I will need to centrifuge all my samples. And the cell debris will be collected at the bottom of the tube as a little pellet. After removing the pellets, I loaded the lysate onto a nickel column. Because the expressed proteins are histagged, it will be bound to the nickel column in which I can then elute it, collect it and check its purity. After work, I went for a modelling shoot. It takes my mind off to a completely different space and I love it because it brings out the creative side of me and it's something that I enjoy a lot outside of biochemistry and lab work. It's Wednesday and I'm starting early again today because it's SEC or gel filtration day. This process is another purification step to purify my target proteins and the eluted proteins yesterday will be loaded onto this column and will be eluted based on their size. Before loading my sample on, I always wash out the loop with water and the corresponding buffer before loading my protein sample. It's very important to wear your safety goggles when dealing with things with pressure because I've been splashed by my buffer before and it's definitely not a nice experience. After completing the process, I collected all the fractions containing pure proteins and concentrated it down to roughly 2 ml before I aliquoted it into Eppendorf's and flash freeze them with liquid nitrogen. So I'm ready to set up some crystal trays and I'm just working out the concentrations and how much of whatever stock I need to add because um, I want different concentrations and I have different starting stocks. So I've got my ice box with me and I've got proteins at different concentrations which I'm gonna transfer onto these plates. And yeah, I've got three different concentrations that I'm going to try. It's so hard to not get air bubbles in, but then it's important to not get air bubbles in. He comes over every single day and just occupies my bed. Well, it's kind of his bed right now. 
Before we move on, I wanted to share that today's video is kindly sponsored by Brilliant. So Brilliant is an interactive online learning platform which makes learning much easier and much more enjoyable. Instead of watching videos passively, you're solving problems, exploring visuals and interacting with concepts with questions. So this way you'll retain information longer and better. What I love about Brilliant is that its interactive nature will help develop skills for you to approach problems with confidence. They have a huge range of courses ranging from maths, science, data analysis, programming, and even AI. And each one is designed to build your intuition step by step. So if you're preparing to study biochemistry, STEM subjects, or just wanted to strengthen your foundation in general, Brilliant is honestly such a helpful tool. These subjects can feel overwhelming, but learning little every day through engaging courses can make such a big difference. Brilliant really helps you stay consistent and also pushes you towards your learning goals. To learn for free on Brilliant, scan my QR code or click the link in my description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription which offers unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. So I've just finally made my proteins at the right concentration and I'm getting ready to set up a crystal tray. I've got my protein at 35 milligrams per mil. So it's done dispensing now and I have my dispensing tray and my crystal tray. And this crystal tray is one that I haven't tried before, which means that I haven't used these conditions before. So I'm quite excited to see what happens with these. Quickly, I need to seal these trays because the protein's gonna evaporate. I have to be very delicate and careful with these. I've literally just finished work now and I'm in this little valley of uh, berry plants, blackberry plants. So I wanted to show you guys. And I'm here to pick some blackberries after work. I'm a dancer and I love dancing because it gives me a way to fully express myself in ways where words cannot. It's also a good form of exercise, so it's good for my physical and mental health. That's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you found it useful and that I didn't put you off from wanting to get into the field. I just really wanted to show you guys that it's possible to have a work-life balance and also pursue other things that you love as well as working in research. If you guys have any questions, please do let me know in the comments and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next time.